Hey, what's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to talk about interfaces in Go. Now, interfaces are one of those Go features that just really interested me. I just started learning Go, but I really like the, the whole point of interfaces. It allows you to be more flexible and, uh, I guess, versatile with the code that you write. Basically, it lets you do different things regardless of the type that's passed in. I know that doesn't make a lot of sense, but let's look at a simple example. So, officially, interfaces are a named collection of method signatures, okay? So, let's look at an example. It'll, it'll probably illustrate this further. And it's going to be a simplified example, okay? Keep that in mind. So, say we have an alien that comes down to Earth. This alien right here comes from planet whatever. That's actually the name of the planet, planet whatever. So, he comes down and he, he either finds a man or a woman. He finds a human, a man or a woman. Now, men and women can greet aliens. They can say hello or whatever, but they greet them in different ways, right? So, we're, if we want like a greeting method to, to greet this alien, we want it to work regardless of what is passed in, a man or a woman. So, let's actually create a man and woman struct, first of all. I know this doesn't make a lot of sense right now. Just keep uh, follow along, and if you have any questions, let me know in the in the comments. But we're going to try to demonstrate this as uh, clearly as possible. So we have a man and a woman struct, right? And they have greeting properties on them, okay? Which means that uh, whenever you create a man or a woman, they're going to have a greeting that goes along with them. Now, also, men and women are going to have a say hello function. So, say man is going to have a say hello and it's going to return a string. Whoops. And what will this return? It'll just return m dot greeting. And let's copy the same function for a woman. Okay. Right here, type that in. Now, if you don't know what this is in Go, Hopefully, I'm assuming you have a little bit of Go experience. This is called a receiver right here, and basically it means that uh, this say hello function takes a, a struct of type man, okay? Now, we are going to have a function that actually prints the greeting, right? Now, let's, let's keep in mind that men and women greet in different ways, and these are going to be American men and women, so we'll come up with some greetings for them later. But they greet in different ways. So we don't want to have to create a print greeting function for both men and women. Okay, just because they're different types, we don't have to we don't want to have to create different greet uh, print greeting functions. Okay, so we're going to have a print greeting function that prints out the greeting, but we don't want to have to create two different uh, functions just because we have two different types. So we can create something called an interface. So we're going to say type uh, human is of type interface. We have to use the interface keyword there. And remember, interfaces are a collection of method signatures. So the method signature that we're going to have in the human interface is say hello, which returns a string. And now interfaces are implicitly returned, which means that as soon as you create a say hello function that returns a string and acts on the man struct, the man, uh, the type man automatically implements the human interface. Now I know that's really confusing. That's that's a that's a you know, that's messing up the brain. All those all that jargon. But basically all we're just saying is that to implement the human interface a uh, type needs to have the function signatures inside of the in that are defined inside of the interface. In the human interface it's say hello. So Man has the say hello function, woman has the say hello function. So right now we can both say that man and women both implement the human interface. Now let's go ahead and create a function that will take instances of the man and woman struct and uh, will return different things based on the type they are, but because they are of the same interface, we can use the same function on them. So we're going to say... Uh, funk, let's just say print greeting, and this is going to take a human inter of of human an interface of human. So right here, as you can see, and it's convention and go to just use like the single letter, uh, you know, argument name, 
parameter name, whatever this is, but which is kind of confusing. You don't do that in other languages, but in Go, you do do it. So it's going to be print creating and it takes uh, a human, okay? So what does it do? Let's just print out print line, uh, we'll just say h dot, and the function is called say hello. So we'll say say hello, okay? Now let's actually create some instances and uh, use this function. So we'll say func main which is our main function which runs the program basically and we'll give it a couple uh, we'll create a couple instances so we'll just say this dude's name is gonna be Thomas there let's just assume they're American <laughs> these humans and that the alien came landed in America so they're gonna have American greetings so we'll say man and his greeting is gonna be I don't know what can he say he can be like uh, suh dude uh, and he'll, he'll high five or fist bump fist bump Okay, and then we're gonna have a woman and uh, what can be around uh, let's just say Polly and she's a woman and her greeting is Hey, <laughs> I know that's pretty stereotypical, but whatever uh, not all women say hello like this I know that and she Hugs, I don't I don't think a lot of American women hug. I've never gotten a hug <laughs> But anyway, let's just assume that Polly's a very nice girl and she's gonna hug the alien so then we can say print greeting Polly and we'll say the same for Thomas okay uh, so let's run this we'll say go run interfaces dot go and you can see that when the alien arrives Polly says hey and she gives him a hug and Thomas says what's up, dude and he gives the alien a fist bump and that's it so you can see that regardless of what was passed in to the print greeting function of what type we passed in, man or woman, they satisfied, they implemented the, the human interface, so they did different things. Now this was a very simple example and this could have been done without interfaces, but when you have like, uh, for instance, situations where the, I don't know, s say the say hello function actually did like some sort of mathematical, uh, you know, it solves some sort of equation based on the type and these two say hellos were actually very different depending on the type that they that they acted on then that's when interfaces are really powerful so this was just like a simple example hopefully it, it sort of cleared it up a bit uh, if it made you even more confused then just let me know in the comments and I'll try to help uh, if you check out go by example there's this good interfaces section where they where they work with interfaces or the example uses different shapes uh, shapes of each type is a shape and they have like a perimeter and an area function where uh, it's it's a different it's a different formula to find the area for each shape and then there's one interface called uh, I think it's called geometry where it has the method signatures area and perimeter and depending on what type is passed in the the get you know the measure the geometry function which would be down here I guess acts differently so uh, that's interfaces it's a pretty simple concept that lets you uh, act on different types on the same function uh, without having to declare you know the function multiple times so it's pretty cool I hope that helped I'll catch you guys in the next one